looking at miscoaching against Kale this week. Hmm? What about it? Miscoaching against Kale. Uh, you know, we, we don't. I've, I've said this before. In those games, I always forget. Uh, I don't ever look at the other sideline much unless I have a reason to uh, based on um, something I think could be advantageous for us. Uh, you know, if there's a certain um, poker uh, body language that coaches give based on certain play calls and stuff. Other than that, I never look over there. So I don't really actually remember until the game's over. And uh, I forget because I go to the uh, center to, to shake the head coach's hand and then he'll come up and grab me. And a lot of times I have forgotten that. So that really is not as big an issue. Uh, makes it a little bit easier on the family, uh, that's for sure. I hear that you've been a real supportive big brother to him the last several weeks. What, what have you done to sort of help him through? Oh, I, I think anybody that goes through uh, uh, what would be somewhat um, tra traumatic would be a, 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 bore, a bad word for it because there's – uh, that's not a traumatic. There's a lot of things in life a lot worse than that. But just a tough situation um, is to say, hey, you know, I'm here. You know, you want to talk, whatever. Um, but what he did is, uh, in my opinion, was was very smart, which he never stopped the flow, everyday flow of his life. Um, he does what he does every day. Um, and he's um, somewhat partnered up with um, Coach Switzer, and they work together now on certain things, which – Everything that Switzer's ever touched just turned into gold. Uh, so it's a good guy to partner up with. And uh, arguably, uh, you have two um, um, Oklahoma OU guys that could be uh, the most well-known, prominent figures uh, long-term in that program with uh, Coach Switzer and Kale. I, I think Kale's been there uh, – He's been there more than anybody else, right, games-wise? I think more than Switzer. So those two um, working together are having a, a, a blast. They called the other day, and they had me on speakerphone. They're driving in the car going over to, um, I mean, you know, I mean, Switzer and Kale, they're going over to talk to some guys and have drink beer and have a good time. And they, where are you going to practice? Ah, you're going to practice. Uh, we're going to drink beer and talk to guys about football. Um, so uh, he's honestly doing really well. Uh, and I'm happy for him, but that's my role, right? I mean, uh, is to try to help him out. So, um, uh, you know, I did the best I could. Over the years, I've kind of noticed that meeting with you and Kale afterwards, and it's constant. I mean, it's not like when they when they've lost, Kale stomped off and gone to their dressing room. In fact, I almost think he's made more of a point of coming over to you after they lose. Kale's that's very emotional. Uh, Kale is a, a very uh, huge heart, um, very emotional person who cares about. Kale loves people. He, lo he likes everybody. Uh, and he pours himself out to people. I'm not that way. I, I have very few friends. Uh, I'm not a outgoing people person. Um, I would rather be somewhere by myself watching something or doing something to occupy my time, not with lots of people. That's just, we're complete opposites in that area. Um, everybody likes Kale because Kale's a very outgoing, giving, generous, genuine person who cares about people, so they like him. And so when the games are over, whether he wins or I win, he's more, he's more concerned about me than he is himself. So that's why he tracks me down to say, hey, good game, you did good, or I'm happy for you, love you, whatever see you at Thanksgiving, whatever. I mean, that's his approach. Now, I care for him as much as he cares for me, but I'm not that way. I, I, I just don't, I, I'm, I'm not put together that way. Another great memory that I personally have of the two of you mm -hmm. was when you had left Midwest City, you were here, I think, playing, and Kale was the quarterback at Midwest City, mm -hmm. and you going, you when you could get to a game, mm -hmm. you'd be down there with Ron Smith and Kale, Drawing up things plays, up in trying, the dirt. Trying, trying to win. Yeah. Trying to win, yeah. Um, trying to help him. Yeah, a different deal, though. I'm in a different element. I'm in a football element where things that I like to do and all that, those are those things drive me. Uh, the, the things that drive Kale socially don't drive me. So it's two different people. But Did you enjoy watching him play? Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. I love that, yeah. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.